So here I'm just going to show you how a disaccharide forms. So hopefully you now recognise this molecule here as the simple version of alpha glucose. So we've got our six carbon sugar, we've got hydroxyls pointing downwards at carbon one and carbon four. So this is alpha glucose. And alpha glucose can actually bond with another molecule of alpha glucose to form a disaccharide called maltose. And the way that we illustrate that is to start off by just simply drawing two molecules of alpha glucose adjacent next to each other. So I'm just going to draw a second um, molecule of alpha glucose here. I'm just going to use the simple form, which is just fine. My mistake. Oxygen there. And because it's alpha glucose, we've got our hydroxyl groups pointing downwards. Okay, and the reason that we do this is to illustrate where exactly the bond forms between these two molecules. And when two biological molecules join together in this way, it joins in what we call a condensation reaction. And as the name condensation reaction suggests, we're going to get some condensation. We're going to produce a molecule of water. And that water comes from um, these molecules here that are currently part of the alpha glucose. So hopefully you can see here, and I'm just going to show you on this diagram, that we've got two hydrogens and an oxygen there. And they are going to combine together to form water. And when that water is released, we're going to be left with a bond joining these two molecules of alpha glucose together. So I'm just going to show you this underneath. So what we've got now is we've got two molecules of alpha glucose that have joined together to produce a disaccharide and this disaccharide is called maltose. And we've also produced water in this condensation reaction and water you can see has been taken away. And just like we did when we did our um, alpha glucose structure earlier, you can go around and just check that you've done it right. And a quick check is just to check that every carbon's got four bonds. So we've got four there, four there, four there, one, two, three, four there. That hydrogen's the one um, that people often forget and miss off. Four here, we've got our CH2OH groups at the top, and we've got our hydroxyl groups pointing down. And that is how maltose is produced.